My name is Jackson Willis. I'm a regional sales engineer for Fujitsu General America. And we're sitting here at a building called Tabco Towers in Towson, Maryland. Tabco Towers is a 22-story multifamily residential building, uh, probably built around 50 years ago. And all 200 apartments have been serviced by a through-the-wall PTAC. So we looked at this building at all our different options. And what we settled on was, was a VRF system. You know, there's low ceiling heights, uh, it's a tall building, 22 stories, so you're looking in the range of about 180 to 200 feet of, of building. So we looked at VRF, we looked at the efficiency, and it turned out to be a good solution. Um, you know, there's typically a lot of skepticism in the industry when we talk about comparing a technology like a PTAC versus a technology like a VRF. In terms of HVAC, they're really at opposite ends of the spectrum. In terms of first cost, VRF is typically gonna be much higher than a PTAC. Uh, but they're also at op opposite ends of the spectrum for things like efficiency and operating costs, uh, as well as for reliability and maintenance costs. Not to mention benefits like uh, lower sound levels, uh, better comfort, better control for the building owner and the building manager. If, if the question is, uh, can a VRF system compete directly against a PTAC system and come out uh, from an economic sense of having a better life cycle cost. Uh, for this building, the answer is absolutely yes. And not only that, but the cost to rip out over 200 PTACs and close the penetrations in the wall, uh, even with that scenario, the VRF came out from a better economic sense. Here in the Maryland market, our air stage distributor is the Ferguson VRF division. It's headed up by a guy named Matt Coley, and here in the Baltimore market, the technical support advisor is Craig Howell. And Craig and the rest of the, the Ferguson team did a great job providing support to uh, along all uh, aspects of the installation, including a lot of job site visits, making sure every T was crossed and every I dotted. The actual installation is being done by the Integrated Companies, uh, a company based out of Northern Virginia, not too far from, from here in Towson. Uh, it looks spotless, they've got the RBUs installed, the piping being run, and from what I hear, everything has, has gone extremely smoothly so far. I'm Scotty Williams with the Integrated Companies. The Integrated Companies is comprised of mechanical construction and mechanical engineering. So after we looked at the drawings and we really got involved, uh, we analyzed the design, uh, we analyzed the manufacturer, and we did a lot of research on the manufacturer. And Fujitsu, they did a wonderful job laying the project out. The mechanical engineer of record did a wonderful job. And all we can say is nothing but good about the product um, and just the whole process. The air stage systems being installed here at Tapco Towers are primarily the VR2 heat recovery systems. There's over 200 tons of outdoor unit capacity being installed here. In each apartment, depending on whether it's a studio or a one bedroom apartment, there's either a wall mounted unit or a slim duct unit. The RBUs, the distribution boxes for the heat recovery system are located in small mechanical, electrical, or even a laundry closet. And the space was extremely limited for those and there was really no other option. And, and very few other manufacturers would be able to fit their own RBUs into those spaces. On the first floor in the common area, we also have a four-ton J2 series system, which is our single phase VRF system, serving the laundry area and the lobby. Each indoor unit is controlled by our simple remote controller. This provides a really simple solution. If anything needs to be done by either the building manager or even the contractor or us as Fujitsu, we are provided with remote access into the system where we can control every single indoor unit. One of the reasons the air stage system was such a good solution for this building is that it is nearly occupied uh, during the entire course of installation. Uh, it only required a few hours for the integrated companies to install every si single indoor unit, which means the occupant of every single apartment was only displaced for those few hours. Uh, the other good thing is that the existing PTAC can be run in either heating or cooling while the VRF system is being installed and eventually started up. So the air stage system has really proved to be a perfect solution for Tabco Towers and has provided the flexibility uh, for a high rise, a 22 story building with limited floor space, limited mechanical space, and has provided not only that, but the efficiency to offset the initial first cost and the replacement of the PTAC systems. And the expectation is that this building can serve as a model not only for the region but as a model for the entire country when you look at similar buildings.